Welcome to Arpin Group's International Insights and part two of our four-part interview with moving industry veteran Stephen Crooks. In part two, Stephen is going to share his perspective on how the industry has changed over the years and what has contributed to those changes and how they may be relevant today. Our host Michael Hughes has Stephen in the queue as we continue with the series. What are some things or trends that you've seen evolve over 30 years? Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, yeah, let's be kind. 30 years. It's been a little longer than that. <laughs> okay. um, I didn't know what uh, side of that I was on. <laughs> sure appreciate that, Michael. Um, no, yes, it, it has. It, it's been it's been over 30 years. And, uh, and you know, uh, most people would answer the question with, with technology changes, and there certainly have been those. You know, candid, candidly, our industry is... is uh, a little slow to, to, to be on the uptake uh, to technology. I think we're getting a lot better. I think we will get better. We have to, and I, I believe that, that us at ARPAN International Group will be at the forefront in adopting technology that will be not only useful for us doing our jobs, but, but more importantly, useful for our, our clients and our customers. But the thing that I've seen most of all is consolidation in the industry. And, uh, and of course, uh, first we saw uh, the relocation management companies coming in and consolidating services to, to be more user-friendly to the clients, to be able to buy multiple services. And, and now, and we have been for quite some time, seeing consolidation in the moving industry, uh, partially due to, uh, to pressure on margin. Uh, to be able to to do more for less, and and that's happening in every industry. Uh, us as consumers, we're we're asking for value, and rightfully so. And and I think we're we're seeing that in our industry. Those companies that can deliver the best service at value are the ones that I believe that will come out of the pandemic, and and continue to to grow and and, and be strong. And, and do you see technology playing a key role in that, in developing the value, but also the price? A absolutely, absolutely. As I said, I mean, it's, you know, there, there's inward facing technology and then there's outward facing technology and every company and industry has really those two separate agendas. We have to adopt, continue to adopt technology that helps us do our job. And, and that's as simple as communicating uh, globally, as you know, uh, ARPAN has a, a global footprint and communicating um, um, it, it, the way that we can communicate the messages is through technology. The way that we uh, deal with steamship lines and the airlines and our service providers, that has to be through technology. Uh, but, but just as importantly, and in some ways more importantly, we need to be able to allow our clients to access that information, interact with us the way they want to interact. And that is probably most likely through a mobile device and, and on their time, not ours. And so yeah. those are the technologies that, that I know we'll be investing in continuously, but, but certainly for the next several years. Yeah, and when, when I hear you talking about those different items, I can't help but thinking how well positioned we are as a company. I mean, not just globally being in key markets from the U.S. to U.K., Europe, the Middle East, including Asia as well, Singapore and China, to be able to be on the forefront of all those evolving economies, but also at the forefront of technology, because that's been something we've been heavily investing in. And when you're talking about those relationships with the different steamships, when it's uh, for suppliers on the ground, when it's uh, airlines, whatever it is, um, we as a industry and, and as a company uh, built by our founders on focusing on environmental ways and, and sustainable ways of doing business, mm -hmm. all of that is looking at cutting out efficient inefficiencies, excuse me, and, and replacing those with high levels of technology that are user-friendly, they're adaptive, they're intuitive, so exciting thing. An interesting perspective. It seems that consolidation has been dictating many of the changes the industry has experienced. And as Stephen points out, this is happening in every industry, not just moving and relocation. 
competition has compelled consolidation, which in turn drives companies to reconfigure themselves and deliver new ways of providing services that are more cost effective, while also trying to improve the customer experience. Consolidating and changing the way a company has done things for years isn't easy, but not addressing it isn't an option. In part three of our four-part interview with Stephen Crooks, we're going to learn about his vision for Arpin Group as it relates to his role with the company and some of the changes he's thinking about. You can watch part three now by clicking the link in the video.